Well, here I am. I've got the uh, GS1000 off the uh, bike trailer. Uh, since last uh, episode, I, uh, I've done an oil change and a filter change. Uh, the magnetic uh, sump plug revealed that uh, everything was uh, looking good under there or in there. So pretty happy about that. Uh, now I'm just going to do uh, a check on the cam chain. It's been sitting for a long time. I just want to see if it's still actuating. Um, I want to just give another shout out to uh, the best um, GS1000 resource on the internet, which is called Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Andy's done uh, an amazing job at uh, creating a video library of um, you know how to how to restore one of these bikes. And uh, once again, uh, much respect, Andy. Uh, much appreciado. Um, today. Um, I'm going to be uh, just checking the uh, yeah the cam chain. Uh, if you want to look at Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions channel, you'll see that uh, there's a um, an entire episode basically just on uh, called Camelot, episode 33, and he deals with how to uh, adjust the uh, cam chain. I recommend you have a look at that. I couldn't do better than that. Okay, here we go. Now this is just a really quick summary of how to check that your uh, spring-loaded cam chain tensioner is actually working. So you just simply undo this locking nut. This is uh, from the left side of your motor. Then you undo that bladed um, locking screw and you just undo that anti-clockwise about a quarter of a half a turn. Then you uh, do up the uh, locking nut on the outside and that just takes the uh, pressure off the uh, the uh, spring-loaded uh, cam chain tensioner. So then you go around to the right side of your motor take your points cover off and you'll see behind the engine on the other side of the cam chain uh, tensioner and here you'll see this knurled um, nut now you can just turn that by hand and you just turn that anti-clockwise and as far as you can until it stops turning and then whilst you've uh, whilst you're holding that uh, fully in the anti-clockwise turned position <coughs> you go down and take your points cover off and then you just simply get a socket and turn the motor over sorry turn it over anti-clockwise and if everything's good inside your cam chain tensioner this will spin around clockwise from that anti-clockwise position that you've left it in. <coughs> so um, that's it. And that'll, that basically just says that the uh, spring-loaded uh, cam chain tensioner is uh, actually freely moving backwards and forwards and uh, actually um, keeping pressure on your uh, cam chain, keeping it nice and tight. And that's it. But um, still, have a look at uh, episode 33 of uh, Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions and you'll see... Uh, a much better, um, a fuller description of uh, what's going on there and, and inside as well. Well, uh, while I've got the uh, points cover off, I've just inspected the points. Seems to be uh, plenty of uh, meat left on the points there. Um, I've got some more ordered anyway, just off, uh, off eBay. And um, I've cleaned those up and uh, just checked all the screws that they're tight. Keep in mind this has been uh, sitting for 20 years and hadn't had much use. So uh, and then um, I'm just going to put a little light dab of um, grease on the cam lobe there just so it doesn't wear those, uh, those little uh, actuating arms down. So uh, I'll just thought I'd do that while I've got it off. Just a tiny bit. Now that's probably uh, just a good amount there. Keep it all happy inside there. Okay, well I've got it all back together again. Um, yeah, put a bit of grease on the cam there. I uh, always, always put a little bit of grease on the screws as I do them up as well. Nothing worse than, uh, you know, stripping these uh, Japanese, the heads on these screws, wrecking the heads, I should say. Um, yep, that all checked out fine. That all uh, worked as it should. And uh, happy about that. And the next thing is to get rid of these uh, clip-ons. And uh, just put some uh, the standard bars back on it.
Okay, well, uh, there's the old bars as they should be. A little bit better. Won't be breaking my back riding this thing. Okay, sitting in my hand here is probably the best 10 bucks uh, I could spend on any bike, and uh, that's an inline fuel filter. So I'm just about to pop that in. Okay, well, there she goes. Okay, well, there we have the uh, stock bars back on. Certainly going to be a lot nicer to ride. I uh, want to keep this bike as stock as possible, but uh, sadly these uh, two megaphones and the uh, stock headers will have to go because there's a fair bit of rust on them. And uh, these are actually even got, got some holes in them. Just there, look, I'll just show you. So, uh, yeah, they've got to go. So I'm going to put a stainless uh, 4 into one system on it. Okay, well, there she is. I've got the uh, stock bars back on it and uh, got the fuel filter on it. And that's about all I had time to do today. So, uh, anyway, um, I'll be taking it for a ride next time. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I've got to go to work now. So, it's only so many hours in a day. Anyway, next time. See ya.